Hi, this is Dr. Shiva Adure. We're at the corner of Concord Avenue and Walden Street. Elizabeth Warren lives down there. About two days ago, Frank, Frank the Tank, who's one of our volunteers, had gotten the rights from the owner of this property to put up our signs here. This is one of the most traveled places in Cambridge. Frank got the rights, we put up three big signs here. Immediately after these signs were put up, one of the white liberal fascists here came and started poking at the signs. Cops were called and he was told he cannot do that as vandalism. Today, Sunday, six people came here and snipped the signs off of here. We called the police again, the police went after them and we're gonna file charges of vandalism. Subsequent to that, the mayor of Cambridge, Mark McGovern, a thug, called the other owner and told him that if he didn't remove these signs, he was gonna have zoning problems, you know, business operations. Sounds like the mob, doesn't it? That's what Mark McGovern did to the other owner. Obviously, they don't wanna have problems. These guys are running a business. They could lose a lot of money. So they told us to remove the signs. What I wanna let you know is this is how Elizabeth Warren and her thuggery works. She uses Mark McGovern, her, her little puppet, to get her dirty deeds done when we point out that she's a fake Indian. And that's what we will fight here in Cambridge. If you remember before this, the city of Cambridge attempted to say that if I didn't remove the, the sign on my bus that I'd be fined 300 bucks a day and we sued them in federal court. But obviously they're not gonna get away with this. But again, Mark McGovern, the mayor of Cambridge, Massachusetts, where you know diversity and inclusivity and free thought should reign, basically and fundamentally uh, did thuggery on local business operations to force a business owner to uh, remove signs, basically under the threat that his business would have operations problems. So anyway, Shiva for Senate, keep an eye out for us. Remember, only a real Indian can defeat the fake Indian. Thank you.